have gotten your heart broken a few times in your life and you're in this space where you're not sure if you should risk opening it up again and maybe getting hurt or staying safe but keeping it closed, well on today's episode, I'm gonna help you solve this dilemma in a powerful way, so stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship you've always wanted and attract the kind of quality man into your life that you crave as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you without the need for gimmicks, games, manipulation, or any type of tricks. Now, first thing I want to share for, for those of you who've watched this show for some time is that this is the first video I create in my new home, in my new studio, and I have a mix of emotions. On one side, I'm so excited and so blessed of this magnificent space that we've created with the help of all of you. And on the other side, I left the house that I lived in for 15 years with tears in my heart because although we've outgrown that house, it's given me so much, so much joy, so much love, so much passion, so many decisions, heartbreak, that births, deaths. I, I've gone through so much in that house. And this morning when I left it and I took a last picture of the living room with nothing in it, it's just one of those emotions, it's like a mix of emotions. And which is kind of like what life is. That's why I'm bringing this analogy to you because getting your heart broken is very similar to that. Why? Because you have the option when your heart breaks to keep it closed and stay safe or risk again and potentially get your heart broken again. So that's the dilemma, right? The dilemma is what should you do when you feel like you have always gotten your heart broken? And the first thing I want to share with you right now is there is no such a thing as a heartbreak free life. Enjoy, you'll find heartbreak. I mean, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the most satisfying moments of my life, moving into the house of my dreams with everything I've always wanted. I get, and there's heartbreak in that because I'm living in another space, you know? So uh, in life, connecting with someone, even if it's the right person, your heart will break. Why? Because they're different from you and because they'll say things they don't mean to say and because you, because they'll go through hurt and pain and you'll have to experience it with them if you care about them. So there's no such things a heart, heartbreak free life, but there are types of heartbreak that are avoidable and there's types of heartbreaks that are unavoidable. So the type of heartbreak that I'm experiencing right now is unavoidable. If somebody in your life dies, it's unavoidable. Connecting with a man who's not right for you and saying no, that is something that's within your grasp. So what I'm asking you right now to do is as you look at your life, and as you think of everything that you have coming in the future, that you choose the lesser of the two pains long-term versus short-term. Because short-term, the risk of getting your heart broken feels painful, but dying with your music in you, never being touched, felt, expressed, loved, embraced, never having the deepest level of communion with someone, that is painful in its own self as well. So, you have to be willing to risk heartbreak in order to be able to get a chance of getting what you want. But the third option that I want to provide to you right now is that as much as I want you to risk getting heartbreak, I want you to do it more intelligently than in the past. And there's three specific areas of focus that can help you avoid more of that avoidable heartbreak. And the first one is ask more questions, ask better questions, of the men you connect with before you put your heart and soul into it, before you connect with them physically, before you make out with them, before you kiss them, before you have sex with them, before you become their girlfriend. Like, because if you get a chance to connect with someone and ask deep questions, you will hear things that will help you evaluate if the risk is worth taking or not. Why? Because if the man wants something different from you and there's strong chemistry and you don't stop it in the beginning, then you'll get deeper and deeper into him and then it's going to be too late. By the moment you're out, your heart is breaking. So that's one thing that you need to focus on. Ask better questions, ask good questions, ask questions early. And if somebody gets scared of you asking them the right question, then let them self disqualify. But don't put yourself at risk by just going blindly, driving blindly and drunk at night. You would never do that. Well, don't do the same thing with men. Number two, evaluate those connections in direct proportion to the way men show up in actions. Why? Because if men show up in great prose 
or poetry even, and they sell you a big idea of what they want to create in their lives with you, and they don't have the capacity to deliver, or worse, they don't even have the intentions to deliver, then you can get sucked in it and go with the flow of love bombing that you're getting from them and you're so beautiful and so sexy so smart I've never felt this way for anyone poetry in the morning uh, beautiful things at night and then and then it hurts you right so second focus on actions not words third there is zero replacement for time I don't care how awesomely in tune with the universe you are how much power your chakras have how powerful your vision and intuition are unless you take the time to see how that man reacts one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months. Th there's no replacement for those months where things will show up and he will show you his true self and you will show him your true self and the combination, combination of both will show each other the compatibility of this relationship and the ability for it to be sustained with time. So if you ask better questions, you focus more on actions than on just feelings and you take longer how much longer longer than you usually do to connect with someone and to be exclusive and to have sex and do all those things the risk of getting your heart broken exists but you're significantly reducing it to the point where you can avoid what's unnecessary hope this is helpful useful and insightful to you if it is i'm going to ask you to do three things number one click like or thumbs up on this video number two subscribe to my channel click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes third and most important of all if you like what i'm sharing with you we want to take it deeper I've created a free masterclass. It's 40 minutes long that goes way more profoundly into the concepts that I'm sharing with you as to how you can step into the best relationship of your life. Click on the first link under the description of this video, enter your name and email when prompted, and you'll be redirected to start watching it right away. If you want more help and you want hand-holding and accountability, second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you for bringing me into your hearts, into your homes. Thank you for sharing Allow me to share my heart with you. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.